An old miser lived in a cottage away from the city in a beautiful forest. He was quite content to live in seclusion in a very humble manner. But over time, the city began to inch closer and closer to where he lived. And after several years, while he found himself in the center of a growing, wealthy residential district, with a large boulevard passing right by his front door. Many people had offered to buy him out, but he had always stubbornly refused to sell. Well, one day, a, a limousine pulled up in front of his cottage and a secretary of a very wealthy businessman stepped out and came to the front door and offered to buy the place. But again, the man refused. He said, it's not for sale. And the secretary looked at him and said, well, everything is for sale at a price. So what's your price? So the old man decided he was going to give him a figure so exorbitant, so unreasonable that it would send him away. And so the man said, uh, I'll sell for a hundred thousand dollars. And to his great surprise, this secretary took out a checkbook, wrote out a check for a deposit and said, I'll be back tomorrow with the papers to sign and the balance of the money. Well, the next day when the secretary showed up, he, the old man met him on the front lawn and the miser went up to the secretary and he said to him, well, what do you think of the place now? And the man said, well, what do you mean? And the guy said, well, after you left yesterday, I repaired the fence, I mended the siding I fixed a leak in the roof. Why, well, if I'd have had time, I'd have fixed this sagging roof here on the front porch too. Well, I figured if this place is worth a hundred grand, that I ought to spruce it up a little. Well, this secretary looked at the old man with pity. And he said, why do you think my boss is going to live in this old shack? Well, we didn't pay for the cottage, sir. The money is for the property. Well, we're going to haul this cottage off to the dump. And we're going to build a mansion here for my employer. That's the plan. When a person invites Jesus Christ into his or her life, God isn't interested merely in renovation. God wants the property. The Bible says that when we become Christians, why we become new creations in Christ. The old has passed away, the, everything becomes new. And in the book of Ezekiel, it says that God gives us a new heart. So make sure Jesus is your savior. Repent of your sins and ask him into your life. And let him be the Lord of your life. Thank you for watching. And be kind.